Nagy on his last wave. Here we go. Joe Vaughn, good looking right hander here. Nice swooping turn for the Australian. A little check snap there. Eyes up the lip line, throws the fins. Dynamic wow. finish for Joel Vaughn. It's a 617 from Brody. Joel takes off on this wave out the back. Nice swoop. He's really, I mean, it's all about this last maneuver when you're thinking about the 817. He did the, the cutbacks or not. Ooh, and this is a good looking wave. Has a good ball on it, too. Oh. Into the lip once. And you know what's coming next. Throws the tail. She ride out. Heat up until that 833. This one here. So all the points coming from that there. And this explosive end section hit there. Carrying a lot of speed. And that's something that can be lost on the reach. Pretty, pretty comforting. Here's Zoe Benadero. Beautiful snap there. Fierce to second turn. Mm. Gets three in. And she's going to take the lead with that performance. And this one is in the... Yeah, that's Zoe. yeah, Zoe's, yeah, silhouetted in that sunset that's beginning to form. So that coming out of that replay right here that we're watching, this is Bang. excellent. This is an eight-point ride. So we wow. felt it on the set. 0.43 that she requires to take the lead as she's up and riding again. Wow, and a deep bottom turn. How was that in the pocket, too, once again? And she is just on a roll right now combination of major maneuvers on the outside and won't be and this is the wave we're waiting for right here rosie that was just beautiful i'm kind of just like really uh enjoying this woman surfing i think when i look at those that first maneuver the way she held that yeah. rail line that to me was like laura looking for a comeback here and Swooping turn there. So waited a while. This wave stands up on the inside. Oh. And Rop with a couple of wraps yeah. and a snap and make it two. Oh. This could be a big comeback wave. So just when you think <laughs> that mm. Kana Nakashio had it in the bag, Laura Rapp had some other things on her mind surfing way down the beach. Look at where she ends up, Matt. Excellent moments. So, so you look at this lined up wave. It's like a point break right now. And here just sets the pace. Nothing of consequence yet. Nice. That one there really stepping on the tail and stepping on the gas there. Another swoop. Looks like a mini J Bay right there. Just when you thought it's over, she gets one more at the end. And she looks back at the judges. What else do you want? It's a bit sleepy here, but she sets the momentum up. Nice opening carve. And then this one here, searing cut back right back into the power. So snaps it at the end. And you can see she's just eyeing off this next section, knowing that it's probably going to cut short. Look at this and a nine point ride. I mean, speed, power, flow, combination maneuvers, and there were some critical moments in amongst the end of that wave there. So, well earned nine point ride there. Froth to deal with. Looking down mm. the line, one minded, looking for an air, busts the air, puts oh. it down, rides it out. Glue foot, Yahagi. Following the line of that bird that was flying on the inset of the screen, that was just what this heat needed at this point in time. And this was the uh, Thompson's wave that we didn't see. And he does oh. get the air full rotation. No wonder he claimed it because that one would have felt fantastic. Completely opposing. I watched them together and how they interact. And they're like, they tell each other they love them. They support each other. I mean, it's, it's real how that energy has helped all of them. Here's Xion. Needs something big here. Snap through there. Bold up section here. There you go. That's more like it. Throwing the tail. Another snap there. So this could be the comeback wave for Xion Crawford. You can see a little bit of the urgency in his surfing, especially towards the tail end of this wave and the body language as he kicks out. Okay, so let's break it down. The 717 was a two-turn combo. Yeah. Yeah, so this maneuver right there. Wow, look at that spray. It takes like ages for that water to hit the bottom. Tail slide right there to mix it up. Set up turn. Going through the motions here. It's just really unfortunate. He didn't get that one last closeout maneuver. I don't know, Cubs. Uh, the, the work that he got yeah. done on the outside, this angle, beautiful. That's the best move of the heat so far. Straight into that bottom turn. Another best turn of the heat. So... Yeah. Those, on the strength of those two maneuvers, uh, you've been pretty good it's with this. Solid. And I know that Xion likes karage chicken. Way down. 
though, you've got to, you've got to think, if you're not surfing in front of the judges, you're not really giving yourself the best opportunities as well. Walters here, again going vertical, oh. the backhand. Nice springy surfing, coiled up, throws the tail into reverse. Downtime straight into that next turn. The judges will appreciate the flow there. And here he ramps up, and nice little nose pick there and spins that around. That was a great way for Harley Walters. And behind him, oh, this is the, we'll get another look at it. Why not? Vertical snap there, and again, flow element linking. It's a golden California afternoon right here at Southside Oceanside here. San Diego playing host once again to the world's best surfers, 20 years or younger. One of them being Sam Peter. Wow. And he just went ballistic on that left. One of the best airs we've seen all event long. And judges taking no time to drop that score. It's the first Sexton score we've seen all heat long. As we get another look at these rides, Sam just looking down the line, identifies that section, whips it around. Excellent. So this guy's well versed in beach break conditions. Yeah, but he's another talent that we're just uh, so impressed by. Here we go, using his priority, Levi Slauson. Slashes off the top there. Great rail control, a little bit late, but sticks it. Solid footing by Levi Slauson, and you can see by the body language on the kickout, he was happy. He was late to that final re-entry, but was able to put the board under his feet. And Levi. This wave was really just so fun to watch. Opening exchange in the opening heat. And like I said, meeting that lip line so late made it even more of a high impact maneuver. If he just went up there and kind of coasted, he really had to huck his whole body up um, into that lip line and come down with a lot of force. So it takes a lot of control. I love karage chicken too. It's the Japanese While fried chicken. Fortnite. Here we go at Hato. That's what we were looking for from the Brazilian. Big rail car. Wow. Snap there for Variety. Releasing the fins a bit. Looking for the finish. Make it. Can he put it down? And he yep. does. And he feels it. Looking back at the judges. Likely to turn the heat with that wave. He just needs a 6.71. Take another look at it here. All right. So it was a combination of maneuvers, but critical in nature. That one really opening up on that carve. And versatility hits the lip line, snaps it there. And this one... Smashing that foam, man. Whenever there's a sense of uncertainty and you ride out, you're going to go big. And that's exactly what Mueller did on that wave. The front on angle, the combination of maneuvers, the flow, the power, gauging the rail there. The versatility here, so snapping that one up and lining it up, no pumping, straight into that next turn and ramping off that section. And you mentioned how fun this heat has been, how fascinating it's been to see them go back and forth. It's almost like a tennis match out there. As Kainalo now has a strong bottom turn right there on this left. Beautiful opening carve, a second gorgeous turn. And an eclectic finish, Rosie. He loves it. Six minutes to go and looking to improve on a 6.5. But watch this. So this first maneuver, he kind of waited on the bottom there, waiting for the precise time to hit it. That's where I just mentioned he got a little bit stuck on the rail, but that's, that ending maneuver was wow. so tack sharp. And we Man, got this was unbelievable surfing. This front-on view is really going to give us, ooh, that was insane. One of the best maneuvers of the heat. And again, another one of the best maneuvers on one single wave. You have Channel Islands, mm. Sharp Eye, who have kind of been at the forefront, Mayhem. Winning the first CT Shaper rankings. And Glenn Minami, he's kind of been flying under the radar with this oh. guy. Great opening turn right there for Bunch. And excellent timing for the second one, too. Yeah. Looking to better a 6.13. Equally as good on the forehand as he is on the backhand. Favorite movie, believe it or not, Nacho Libre. Might have a little bit of a comedic act. Acts going on in this one, Matt. 14.35 on the clock. Uh, a good old road trip, but here just aggressively attacking this section, banking that one off the top and using that momentum. This one, I thought it was going to die, but that way fronting up. So that's one of the bigger end sections that we've seen all morning so far. I think the judges really like it. A little foamy if there's any critique here. Not that that's anything to do with the surfing. And he gets over the foam, manages it really well. And then he hits that end section. So I think what Jackson said right there was spot on, just having that positive attitude. And as soon as you have that negativity coming into your mind, it just uh, dampens. Oh, wow. Goodness. My 
lord, Joel Vaughn just <laughs> goes nuclear on that section right there. 20 minutes to go. I was talking about him not catching wave, Rosie, and he just goes and shuts me up with perhaps the biggest turn we've seen all day. Looking at the replay here, Rosie. Okay, so this is a different angle of it. The front-on view. Wow, look at all that spray. Uncharacteristic. You don't normally see that with Tenchi. And now Joel Vaughn is going to make him pay. Beautiful wrap to start things off into the lip once again. And you guys better watch out now. He's okay. found his flow, ladies and gentlemen. This kid is on fire. He might be hotter than a blowtorch right now, Rosie. So let's have a look at it. Comes around this section, goes for the swoop, has that release right there in the top third. Up vertical, drifts that board. So different variation, lays it back. Doesn't just go for the swoop and then quick transition up in the lip. So every maneuver was different. I've surfed five heats in a row. Sunburn, no wax. <laughs> this is an event where I'm spoiled at. And he's up and riding again, going left now. Has a ramp, a lot of speed, takes to the air. Oh, man. And he's going to pull it, too. The kids just put it on the show now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I feel like like save, save some for finals <laughs> day. Over there at the ISA Juniors. We're going to be seeing him on the regional QS and the juniors, too. This is the 9.1 of Joel Vaughn, Rosie. So when he takes off on that that wave, like that is all that was such a premeditated maneuver choice right there. The 18 year old from Victoria. Wow. Now Annette Gonzalez. She is just a woman on a mission right now. 16 years of age. Really has nothing to lose, everything to gain here, Matt. And she is just taking it to Ellie Harrison right now. This is an amazing heat. And this is Annette's replay. 517. This is the wave before last. No, this is the wave just then. And then banking that one off in the pocket. So really getting over a board, committing and throwing herself completely into those turns. And speaking of Talia, she's having to look at this. Got a good line on this one. Great positioning in the pocket. Much better start for her. Has the second foam climb. Lays it on rail. And Swindoll on her way to a big score right here, Rosie. Gonna get the finish too. Stand up, Talia Swindoll needs a 6.77 back and forth heat in this one and a must answer back moment for her with just over six minutes to go. Takes off, waits a little while before she gets going, kind of speed line down that one, straight into that second turn. The third one's really nice, probably my favorite. And I especially like this ending, just laying that back arm in. I think this is going to be, this could be it. We could see this uh, this lead change hands again. I like, the, I like the way she transitioned through those two maneuvers. She kind of had to do that speed check turn and then straight into that float maneuver. But definitely that third was super impactful. And then I really loved the finish. And how about the variation too on this one, Rosie? Perfect positioning, always on a great tempo with this one and just never tried to oversurf this wave. I think identifying, too, in that beginning section of the wave that she was going to have to get down the line, but wanted to fit in a couple of turns. A company based here out of San Diego. Slauson finds a long wall on her right, pops it in the air, straight air, and puts it down. That was cool. Straight airs are cool. <laughs> you don't see them a ton in competition, but they're so cool, especially when you cover ground like that. Here we go. One more look. Wow. So let's just have a look. He's telegraphing down the line. Throws it up, gets the grab, but that was really cool. Like the length that he traveled in the air to clear the section. Just watch how much space he covers. His feet were completely off the board right there. Slauson here, under priority, sneaks this one in. Left-hander, up into the lip twice so far, both at 12 o'clock. Three vertical backhand re-entries, kicking the board away, looking at the beach exuding nothing but confidence. Like he seems to find really fun waves and he's just looking so sharp and so in tune with what the ocean's doing. Like he's reading the lineup so well and he looks like he's having fun too. And I think that's a big element of it is bring yourself up is you have to be having fun and, and doing the surfing that comes naturally to you. Wow, is this going to improve? Yeah, it sure did. Ryan Kainalois surfs as many contests as he can possibly get into here he goes this time he's going to go left 
Looking down the line. There was a lot of spray on that first snap. Oh. Nice rhythm, nice tempo through those turns. 6.67. That is the question mark where the three turns on the backhand equaled to that score. He just got an 8.17 and he turned the heat with this wave yeah. map. Yeah, just the flow. Three maneuvers, no pumping at all. So four maneuvers, he rounded that one out. Uh, you, we said it earlier in a heat, If you you can't beat someone who's going vertical on their backside. You hear that just all in the pocket. Three turns, repetitive, but powerful, strong, and element of flow. Talk about Australia. I think we could have maybe 45 pages of professional surfers that have achieved incredible success as Jackson goes to the air right there and pulls it once again. The rubber band man is just a man on a mission right now, Rosie. Four minutes to go. He is uh, savoring this moment of being in control and throwing out moves like that. I wonder if he's on the same board from yesterday. I know that he had a couple was almost on a little bit of a step up but the green rails maybe doesn't seem like much of a step up today but seems like sierra interested in this one it's a clean looking nice. wave map and she's up and riding a lot of speed down nice. the line here great opening snap right there into the lip line wraps it back slides the fins and this is where it gets interesting with the double up here on the inside gets enough speed and gonna get nice. a great close at re-entry even looks back did a nice chip shot in this turn here could have got awkward, and she pulls the nose up just in time, and a great snap back into the pocket, and here it gets interesting, a double up, which we know as surfers can be awkward for the end section, but it holds up just enough to finish that end section with control. 13 minutes to go now, and Sierra Kerr with priority. And she's up Whoa. and riding. Another good-looking right-hander. Up around the corner, oh, into the lip once. Yes. He's going to carve it back. More of a setup turn right there for Sierra. Once again, laying it on rail. And she has just selected two beautiful waves this afternoon here in Oceanside. You know, when you change the tempo of the wave, it does affect the flow. But sometimes it could be beneficial. Yeah, absolutely. And Sierra just only needing a marginal score and timing all her turns perfectly and the flow element in between all four maneuvers. And she's feeling at the end, very Molly Picklin style kick out. Kerr driving off the bottom and hitting it perfectly, teeing off so sweet, driving it back into the foamy power source. Identifies more scoring on the end and a nice snap and finishing here with a flowing re-entry. You know, she's very nervous when it comes to competing. Even said it during her post seed interview. It, it almost seems like it's something that benefits her as up and riding here. Great opening snap and a second one to go with it. Replatinius and Zoe. So bigger wave than we've seen. Nice little slash through there. This is a shades of that 8.5 that we saw in the round of 16. Welcome back to beautiful Oceanside, California for the Samazon World Junior Championships hosted by Best Western. Global superstar Sierra Kerr in the water and she's up and riding. Immediately after the hooter sounded, Catching the first ride of the heat, and it's going to be a great start for her campaign. I love that. I love that these, both these women have started so strong. Sierra just looks engaged. She's found this wave. She's watched the heat previous. She knows what she's looking for out there. And here goes. Bunch here. Nice opening slashing turn there, and another one in the pocket. Gouging cutback. And this one just struggling on the inside, but he makes up for it for a nice little hit to finish. And here goes. Bunch here, nice opening slashing turn there and another one in the pocket, gouging cutback. And this one just struggling on the inside, but he makes up for it for a nice little. Oh. Meanwhile, Jackson Bunch tosses the fins out the back, goes into reverse, continues smoothly in transition. Clean rails on the inside here. Looks for a finish, throws the fins again in the finish. Wow. <laughs> the body language tells me that Jackson Bunch likes the feel of that wave, maybe extending his lead over Leo Casal. Squeezing the juice out of that wave, and Zoe's opener here. Good to see her get to her feet. I'm sure she's hearing the cheers from the Sierra Ooh. Kerr camp. That was really nice, that stab off the top. Well, Zoe said 
that she's kind of gone through the motions and gone through the heat without doing it's almost incomprehensible how difficult it is to be able to compete at this level and still have almost 30 minutes to go and try to improve on two great scores Kerr again and she is just lightning quick Rosie a lot of great activity on this one and just another stellar finish on the inside right there by Sierra Kerr. By catching all of these waves and being very active, Sierra, beautiful first turn, lots of speed down the line, carves into that face. So those two turns right there, already looking good to improve her situation, meets that oncoming section. Three turns there, I really like the look of all of them. I'm wondering, well, I just looked at the score line. She's going to improve, and you're going to read out the number, but I am just... Uh, yeah, continually in awe of uh, what she's able to produce. So same page out of the playbook here for Jet Schilling. Early start, staying busy, going right. This is wave number four for the San Clemente surfer. Lining up something beautiful. Couple of arcs there, really gaining great flow and momentum and nice. matching the tempo of the wave. <laughs> And here he goes vertical a couple of times here. So nice turn there. Sets him up for this one. The flow in between. Connective surfing. And here just keeping his rails wet. And a nice strong finish at the end. So four quality moments on this wave. And this is the front angle. A little setup turn to start. And here he goes down the line. Identifies the critical section. And this one goes straight into a vertical turn. And a tight compact surfing there from Jet. Fast and flowing through his maneuvers. I think that's going to be a very healthy score.